As Jesus began his public ministry, he came to the Jordan River, where John the Baptist was baptizing people. Many Jews from Judea and Jerusalem had traveled to the river to confess their sins and be baptized by John. In this serene setting, Jesus stepped forward to be baptized by John, seeking a formal initiation into his divine mission. As John immersed Jesus in the water, the heavens opened, and a voice from above proclaimed, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The divine affirmation echoed through the hearts of all those present, revealing Jesus' divine nature and the approval of God the Father. After his baptism, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, where he fasted for forty days and nights. In this desolate place, he faced profound spiritual challenges and temptations from the devil. The tempter cunningly tried to exploit Jesus' vulnerability and derail him from his mission. During Jesus' time in the wilderness, the devil presented him with three temptations. The first temptation sought to exploit Jesus' physical hunger, urging him to turn stones into bread. But Jesus responded, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. In this response, he demonstrated his unwavering commitment to rely on the spiritual nourishment provided by God. The devil's second temptation took place on the pinnacle of the temple, where he challenged Jesus to prove his divinity by throwing himself down. For it was written, We'll command his angels concerning you. Yet Jesus resisted the temptation and replied, Again, it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Through this response, Jesus emphasized the importance of trusting in God's plan without demanding constant supernatural manifestations. For the final temptation, the devil took Jesus to a high mountain, promising him all the kingdoms of the world if he would bow down and worship him. Yet Jesus wholeheartedly rejected this offer, declaring, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Through this ultimate act of defiance, Jesus demonstrated his unwavering loyalty to God and rejected the allure of worldly power and riches. Having resisted every temptation, Jesus emerged from the wilderness, victorious and spiritually fortified. He had demonstrated his unyielding commitment to God's will and his unwavering resolve to fulfill his divine purpose. This transformative journey of baptism and temptation marked a significant milestone in Jesus' ministry, preparing him to embark on his mission to bring hope, salvation, and redemption to the world.